I am here on Lines on Design with Julie Rogers, our friend from Endangered Arts. It is always so much fun to see you. You know what I've noticed, and I need your help on this. It's really interesting when I walk in, okay? Yep. Because I see sort of a broad overview of really pretty things. And then you always, what she does is she goes, okay, today here's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about this or this or this or this. And then I walk up and it's as though I'm seeing something for the first time. Yes. Yeah. Talk well, me through that. This lady, in fact, she just brought a bunch of these pieces yesterday. She drove them up and she's 84 years old and we're one of the only galleries that still carries her because she just doesn't deal with other galleries. So and her name? Is Johanna Drummond. Okay. We've had her probably 10 years. She just walked in one day and said, would you be interested in carrying my work? And I was like, of course we would. So, but a lot of these pieces are brand new. Well. Nobody's even seen them. But just a little bit about the process. Yes. She is one of the only people left in the, probably the United States that does this. These are all clay. Okay. Most people from this process go to, uh, they cast them in bronze. Right. These are all originals. She only does originals. So. I, I think that what is really amazing, we say this every time we're together, but, but honestly, you need to come in and just kind See of it. touch and look. Yeah. The, there were a couple that I really particularly thought, I yeah, think the, this little person is. The otter. I the mean, otter he, is. He looks real. He I does mean, look real. The texture she puts in, the colors. Um, uh, the colors, the texture, the fact that two days ago on my dock, I had an, a little otter with his family. Now, you had a river otter, right? Yes, what's this, this one? This is a sea otter. This no. is, did I have a river otter? Uh, I don't know. Um, I had one of these, too. Okay. Well, so well, <laughs> yeah, well, you had an otter. I had so, an otter. Okay. It kind of looked like that, It might have been. It, it was adorable. So, yeah, they re they're really cute. And she, she really captures her objects because she does a lot of research. She'll, uh, yeah, look at the squirrel. I, may I pick up? Yeah, you can pick him up. He looks real. He looks, and then this one. I want to do another anecdote. Yes, she does look real. I think I had her next to the otter. And look at this little guy with the acorn. I mean, she just amazes us with what she does. I don't know if you can see this. and In fact, I know that you probably can't see it. But it's not just so much about her sculpture, per se. It's about the attention to detail. Exactly. On the eyelash. Yeah. Right? Did you notice that? Yeah. And the entire thing, like this, Eyelashes. is a piece of wood. But it's, it's um, clay. It's not wood. That's actually a piece of clay that she sculpted the log out of. Let me ask so. you a question about collectibles. Do you find that a lot of people come in and begin to collect pieces by certain artists? artists yeah. A lot of people collect her. So we actually put all these on Instagram yesterday. Oh, did, okay. Because a lot of people collect her, and as soon as she comes out with something new, they want it. You know, so but, you have a website, Instagram, we do. all of that. So mm -hmm. if, for example, I'm here on vacation, yeah. I run in, how does all that work? Well, we just, you just come in and we try to figure out what you need to take home with you mm -hmm. or we'll go to your house and, you know, let you look at things. We take them out. A lot of times we'll let you keep them overnight oh. if you're not sure uh, because we want you to be happy with your art purchase. So we'll let you keep them overnight. And as a designer, that's oh, huge. Oh, that's really, it's so, huge. Because usually if I can get it in the house and place it, it's the right thing. Well, that's what happens. You know, if we can get mm -hmm. it to your house, we usually leave it there. Don't you think? I yeah. think that's so true. Yeah. Talk to me. These are really interesting and a real juxtaposition to what we have with the jaw it, texture. Exactly. Right? Yeah, this is actually, this is uh, Stephen Harlan. And one thing about him, he's going to be here in October. This Ooh. will be his first show. He's okay. never been here before. So he'll be here explaining the process. And it's a really, it's not like um, a normal piece of artwork that's painted. Okay. He starts out with a sketch, and then he's done these specially designed brushes, and he does it on the computer. On a computer? On, on a computer. And what is the base? Is this? This is, you can get, this is actually aluminum, but you can get them on canvas as well. So this is actually printed. He has a file, and it's actually printed either on aluminum, which these are. This is what gives mm -hmm, it the bright, mm -hmm. uh, brilliant colors. Or you can get them on um, canvas. What's his history? Obviously, he loves boats. Well, no, he does all kind of things. He loves to architect. Like oh, it's these. more architectural yeah. pieces. Um, yes. But he just, none of these are real places. 
these are just places he's made up in his mind in his mind so we're real excited to have him here in october because when you talk to him and learn the process mm -hmm. it's such a unique thing um it's just so different than most artists painting with you know oil paints or acrylics this is actually done it's, on a computer. They're again talking about coming in and seeing, kind of getting an overview and then seeing things specifically. He, This is the kind of piece that almost mesmerizes you after a while. Especially this one. This right? is called Midnight. This is one of his most popular pieces. Okay. Yeah, because you know, you can do an entire room around this. Oh, oh, you know? 100%. Yeah, so. Actually, it's funny that you even say that because oftentimes I'll go to different pieces that you point out and I find that art is something that you really can build a room around exactly. as opposed to the other way. Exactly. It's really interesting. And a lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and again, you can, these are all on aluminum, but when he comes in October, he's going to bring a lot of the pieces that are printed on canvas. So you can see the difference. Okay, so well this is fantastic. I think we're going to walk into another room and take a look. You've got a lot more We've to got show another us. Artist Let's that we go want walk to over. We are back here with Julie Rogers at Endangered Arts and it's really interesting. I walk through here so often and I tend to look at fun and funky and things like that. This is the first time I've really paid attention and stopped and looked at what I'm calling more formal art. The depth and richness of this guy's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Where are we? Who are we looking at? And I feel like it's three dimensional. I want to touch everything. Yeah. This is Reno Gonzalez. He's what we've got three of the uh, Gonzalez cousins in here, and this okay. is one. He does, like you said, formal art. It's he beautiful. does still life. This is kind of special to me because this is a photograph that I shot here um, several years ago, and then he painted it. The original is already sold but this is a reproduction. So we have both originals and reproductions of his. And, and just to look at this, uh -huh. like I said, I feel, yeah. right? Do you yeah. not feel like you want yeah, to? Yeah, the paint's peeling off. It just looks, he's amazing. He was here a couple of years ago to do a big show for mm -hmm. us. Some of his brushes had one hair in it. I mean, uh, yeah, he is so detailed. What's his backstory? Tell me a little bit well, about him as an artist. He is the, he's one of the cousins that grew up with their father and grandfather teaching them how to paint okay. and draw. So he is so meticulous. I mean, all the, all the guys are, but this is kind of his thing. This is his direction he went into versus the other wildlife guys. and Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's interesting to me to listen to you talk about when, when he's painting, he has a brush that actually has one hair in it. Mm -hmm. I think that many of us are so uh, mystified mm -hmm. by what it takes to do this. Right. What's it like for you and Clay, because you're both artists, to actually watch someone here painting. doing the work? Yes. Does yeah. it give you a better appreciation? Well, especially for Reno, because people couldn't believe, they would go away and have a glass of wine and come back and, <laughs> and he, you couldn't tell he had done anything because he, he oh. yeah, very meticulous. He's, uh, takes a long time to paint a painting. This is an original that he painted for us. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it, it. it just sold. Oh, but the it? detail, I mean, you have to, you said earlier, yeah. you have to come in to appreciate this artwork, especially his. Right. This was a an orchid that was on my dining room table, and I took a photo of it and sent it to him. And look, I, doesn't that oh, look real? Oh, I, I mean, mean, I could design rooms around this. I was looking at the crossword oh, puzzle. You have to, yeah. That's all done with a paintbrush, no, not it a pen. Yeah. And this one's kind of cool. This is a reproduction. The original's already sold, but if you like it and you buy it. Like if you wanted like your name or something oh, inside, in the crossword yeah. puzzle. he will do that for you just to kind of personalize the painting. Um, he does that all the time. But you can see if you come in, I mean the detail in just the wine bottles. I was just going to say yeah. looking in the. I was looking up here at the wine bottles too. Yeah, and that's a really popular wine. How do you? Silver oak. This is it, it, yes, it yeah. is. My question is when someone comes in and they're just a lay person off the street and they're really interested in this. Do you share with people how to look at art or how to appreciate it? Or is it something that's just intuitive? Well, a lot of people come in and they already know what they want and we try to just guide them in the right mm -hmm. direction. But you know, we tell you to buy what you like. Don't think of it as an investment. Okay. Don't think of it as resale later. Okay. Because we want you to 
look at it every day and enjoy it. So, oh, and what's interesting to me about um, someone like him, like I said, and I'm embarrassed to say it, I would tend to just sort of walk by. Yeah. But when I stop and pay attention, I'm now seeing three or four places that I would absolutely love yeah. to use this art. You know what? Deb and Gustavo are telling us we have to go. It's so frustrating because just because <laughs> we, can we keep get on going. a roll. Exactly. We just start so. getting into it. But we really appreciate it, Julie. We thank you all for joining us here on Lines on Design. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.